Hi, welcome to the 15th video of Selenium WebDriver series. This video is brought to you by H2K Infosys, the leading online on-site and video-based ID training. Uh, H2K Infosys is based out of Atlanta, Georgia, United States. So in this particular video, I'm going to stick to the same uh, WebDriver version, uh, API version that is uh, Selenium 3.0.0 Beta 3 and the OS will be Windows 10 and the topics that I'm going to cover for this particular video are mouse movements with Selenium and that is using the actions class not only we can use the mouse movement with actions class we can also do keystrokes with actions class rather the actions class is basically used to simulate mouse movements and keystrokes under certain situations then we are going to see how to drag and drop using the actions class then we are going to see the random class of the java language and how to use the random class in your selenium driver script where i can actually randomly select a link from a particular area and then click on that <clears throat> excuse me so let's start uh, what's an action class we'll see that first action class is basically used for emulating or rather simulating your complex user gestures uh, so that there are certain user gestures which are complex into nature and that can be handled by using the actions class it is not only used for uh, simulating your keystrokes but you can also simulate or emulate your mouse movements uh, when using actions class in selenium webdriver we should not touch the mouse or the keyboard and that's a very important uh, note to be uh, done or to be f followed that when we are using the actions class please do not touch the mouse or the keyboard in order to uh, perform the actions event action event we need to use the package called as org.openqa.seleniuminteractions.actions class now this is the sample code to work with the action class out here the action class uh, object needs to be created and the object needs to be passed on with the constructor of the driver which is nothing but the driver used to open up the browser and then we need to move to an element uh, and uh, click and perform on that we need to use the perform to execute the action the perform key keyword or the perform method out here is basically used to execute the action uh, using actions API the keyboard interactions are simple to do with web driver in advanced user interactions API interaction with element is possible either by you know clicking on the element or sending a keys using the send keys method to use mouse actions we need to use the current location of the element and then perform the actions so let's see a practicalities of mouse movements with selenium how that has happened and then we'll see the drag and drop uh, methods of selenium so what i'm going to do is that first show you what i'm trying to do out here so i'm going to open up firefox and uh, i'm going to use a website called www.americangolf.co.uk now if you look at the menu buttons out here so i'm going to close the firebug right now if you just hover your mouse over the menu buttons uh, the sub menu buttons opens so that the all golfers men's ladies now let's say i move from all golfers to men's the categories or the, the sub sub menu buttons also changes for example men's will have uh, shop by men's iron and sets woods putters ladies junior if i move to ladies just hover your mouse over the ladies sub menu button shop by ladies comes iron sets woods butters ladies etc so i'm going to automate it with a single and simple selenium web driver script so i'm going to basically go to golf go to men and click on wedges this is what i'm going to do so that's the first thing so let's go back and create a script out here so i'm going to pick up the same firefox driver code and what i'm going to do is create a new project called as selenium 16 and use the web driver apis add external jar files these are the apis or the, the, the jar files of selenium web driver go to order and export select all click on finish say note the perspective inside the source folder of the selenium 16 project i'm going to create 
a new package called as using actions class and inside this package I'm going to create the class file called as using actions call out the main method uh, so I'm going to basically use the Firefox browser so this is the script for the Firefox browser I'm going to uncomment this and I'm going to import the Fire Web driver instance and the Firefox driver class file inside this particular class file and I'm going to navigate to www.americangolf.co.uk this is a site on golf you can buy your golf sticks and other requisites that you require for playing golf so I need to use the driver instance driver dot get method has to be used I need to go to this particular website americangolf.co.uk I'll just copy this and paste it out here and after that I need to click on the golf menu button golf clubs menu button rather so driver dot find element by the x path expression to be given and I need to get the x path of golf club so let's work on that this is the x path dot click I need to use the click method because this is not part the golf club this link is not part of any form you can check it out in the script HTML script and uh, after that I need to go to mens so I'll have to pick up the x path of mens out here this is the x path of mens copy and click on men's sub menu button so driver dot find element by the x path expression is this for the men's and dot click again and the next thing is that in men's I need to click on men's ladies this is men's I hope I have picked up the x path of this means. Yeah, this means. I'll just confirm that. Copy and paste it out here. Okay. Next is all means. I need to get the x path of budgets. Golf means budgets. This is where I need to click. This should open up. Click on sub sub menu button widgets. So driver dot find element. by dot find element 
by the xpath expression of that widget is this dot click method so manually if i click on widgets called club men's widgets it should open up this page okay so that is my expectation is so i will run this class file it opens up american uk and still is downloading the page so if you see out here it has clicked somewhere else it has clicked on golf clubs it has not clicked on the men's and followed by the widgets out here now this kind of reaction happens on these kind of websites where if you hover your mouse over the button the sub menu button opens you don't have to actually click on the menu button it just activation of the sub menu buttons or the sub sub menu buttons by just hovering over your mouse over that particular menu button. So if I hover my mouse over clothing and shoes, the sub sub menu buttons actually gets activated. I don't have to click on clothing and shoes. These kind of websites, if you see, and you create simple web driver scripts like this, it is going to show you different kind of an output where I wanted to actually see the widgets page, but it has actually clicked somewhere else and clicked on golf clubs and open up the golf clubs page now these kind of websites where activation of sub sub menu buttons or menu buttons happens by just hovering a mouse like this cannot be handled by simple selenium web driver scripts this is where you need to simulate your mouse movements or simulate your keystrokes a simulate of your of your mouse movements and the simulation of your keystrokes can happen by using the actions class okay the actions class can also be used when you want to actually work with ajax components too that we will see later on but here if you see out here if i'm just putting my mouse or hovering my mouse over the sub menu buttons the other menu buttons also gets activated based on the movement of the mouse if i move my mouse to clothing and shoes the other sub menu buttons get activated so these kind of activations of menu buttons just by hovering your mouse okay where you don't have to click on the menu button cannot be handled by simple selenium web driver scripts that have created like this okay you have to use actions class for these kind of websites now if you look at the console result the console result shows you that there is a stale element reference exception element not found in the cache and perhaps the page has changed since it was looked up so this is coming now these kind of exceptions will have to be handled by using the actions class how do you use the actions class first now i'm not going to actually remove these codes i'm actually going to comment these codes okay now how do you use the actions class first of all you need to create a, an object of the actions class and you have to pass on the constructor which is nothing but you have to pass on the driver this particular driver as a constructor of the action class that is how you have to create the action class so creating the actions class right now the object of actions class actions class and when you create an object of the actions class you have to pass on the constructors of the actions class which is nothing but you're passing on this particular driver so actions let's say act is equal to new actions and you have to import the actions class from the selenium interactions package this is going to simulate the actions class actually simulates your or emulates your mouse movements or keystrokes and for these kind of application like golf club where the activation happens just by hovering your mouse you need to simulate your mouse movements by using the actions class 
let's go back to the script the action class requires the constructor where you have to pass on the driver pass on this particular driver this driver actually refers this driver is a reference variable of the web driver instance okay now <clears throat> the first thing is that we need to actually move to go back and put our mouse or simulate our mouse over the golf clubs okay and the x path of the golf club is defined out here okay so what i need to do is that i need to create a driver dot find element by the x path x path is nothing but the location of the golf club the location of the golf club is defined by this x path control c and put it out here now the return type of a find element is a web element just over your mouse of a find element return type would be web element so I'll return web element and call this a reference variable as w1 and import the web element interface now <coughs> where do you need to act with the actions class on the golf club so simulating the mouse over the golf clubs button menu button how do you do that what you need to do is that <coughs> excuse me the act reference variable of the actions object needs to be used so act dot we need to use a method of the action clause for move to element and the move to element argument is a web element you can see that okay move to which particular element web element reference by w1 so move to element w1 which has the location of the golf clubs menu button dot click so i click on that and after that you need to perform the action so you need to use act dot build dot perform activity the build dot perform activity is an important activity if you want to simulate it this line will simulate the movement towards the golf club okay if you do not use the perform method it will not perform the simulation that you have created okay this is going to simulate the mouse over the golf club after that i need to actually go to men's okay so i need to simulate the mouse over the men's sub menu button so what i need to do is that first of all i know that the this is the location of the sub menu button men's sub menu button so this is the location copy this so what i need to do is this driver don't find element by the x path and the x path expression is given by the location of the men sub menu button and the return type of find element is a web element again so i'll put it as web element reference by w2 and then i can use the act reference variable of the actions class dot move to element reference by the web element w2 dot click click on that and after clicking i need to perform the activities so act dot build dot perform that then i need to move my mouse to widgets and the x path of the widgets are already put out here the x path of the widget is this so just copy this and i'm going to simulate
over the widgets sub sub menu button so what I need to do is that driver dot find element by the xpath expression and the location of the sub sub menu button widgets is this so the return type of find elements are gonna web elements so I'll put it to web element reference by w3 and then I need to use the actions class reference variable act act dot move to element which web element I need to move to w3 dot click and then I need to use act dot build dot perform don't forget to perform the activity that you are trying to simulate so this should open up the web page right now so I'll close this browser right now and save the class file and run it don't touch the mouse or the keystrokes while you use the actions class so let's run it let's say it is going to do the activity or not it's still downloading the page it still opens up golf clubs and if I see out here what is the action it stays still element reference exception element not found in the cache page has changed and it was looked up and this is present in line number 41 that is this one So let's try to use a thread dot sleep method. Give a sleep of five seconds out here and add the throws declaration. Use the thread dot sleep method before this simulation also. Let's close this browser save the class file and run it once more okay it is clicking so what's happening out here is that it is clicking out here it's clicking on that particular golf clubs menu so instead of the click method what I can do is I can just go to let's comment this instead of click what I need to do is dot build dot perform directly I can use out here Similarly, I will do a commenting of this and instead of click, I will do dot build dot perform. And here I need to click because I need to use the widgets page. So let's run this save the file and run it goes to men so you can see that and it should click on widgets right now after five seconds yes it has clicked so what was happening earlier is that it has opened up the web widgets page that's fine what was happening earlier is that I was using the dot click method out here with these so I don't need to use use the dot click method just move the element and build perform activity and after moving to wedges you need to click this is where I have to use click 
from here I have removed the click this is how you work with the actions class now after opening of the wedges place I need to actually drag this thing from left to right so when you move something from left to right you actually move towards the positive side when you move something from right to left let's see you move something from right to left you're moving from positive zone to negative zone if you move something to from left to right you're moving from negative zone to positive zone. so if I move from here it is nothing but movement towards the positive side but if I move from here and drag and drop it out here I am actually moving from right to left and moving towards the negative side so I'm going to move this dollar 25 okay so I'm going to move this from left to right this particular element so what I need to do is that I need to first open up the page men's all golfers men wedges and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to move this particular scale from left to right so when you move from left to right you're moving towards the positive side you see the uh, price is also changing so based on the price the materials will be shown on the right hand pane so if I move want to move from left to right what I need to do is I want to get the X path of this so this is moving the price scale from left to right so driver dot find element by the xpath expression and the xpath expression is this and the return to point 5 element is a web element we know that so let's call this as w4 and then 